Greetings, tubers. How's everybody doing? Hey, I'm doing pretty good. I'm glad you are too. This is my Land Rover, my project vehicle. One of them, anyway. 97. And uh, I'm going to show you how to take the radio out. It took me a while. We have two little holes here. And uh, I originally thought you could just take a clothes hanger and stick it in there and release it like you do on the Ford vehicles. But I could not get that to come out. I did, I did everything. I shined the light in there last night, and I realized that you have to use something like this. An Allen wrench. Kind of a setup. So what you got to do is get in here and really uh, turn these screws and release them, and this radio will eventually come out. Now I have a really nice radio I want to put in. A nice Sony with a uh, USB connector, aux connector. I can charge my cell phone, whatever. I don't know if it has uh, Bluetooth, but uh, radios are so cheap now, I'll probably end up getting one. I tried to find the code for this radio. Forget it. I don't know where it's at. I've looked uh, everywhere. They say it's on the back of the radio, but we'll see. And uh, to enter it, it's a nightmare if you disconnect your battery on this um, particular 97 or any Land Rover. Then you have this radio code issue that pops up. And if you don't know the code, well... You're in trouble. You just might as well yank the radio out and get you another one, unless you are a expert on Land Rovers and so so forth. So what we're going to do? We're going to take this radio out and uh, we're going to stick this uh, guy in here. I'm not sure what size this is. Uh, my only advice is if you have some of these, just play around with the, the really small ones. I'm not. These are not labeled. Unfortunately, this is a pretty old Allen wrench set, so we got to stick this in the hole. And we just got to constantly turn here. This will take probably a couple of minutes. Pretty big screw in there. So I won't bore you with that. We'll just keep turning and turning here. All right, we're on this side over here. We're turning and turning. And you can notice the radio wiggling around a little bit now. It's moving. So we'll see if it's ready to come out. Yeah, so here we go. I'll try to do this with one hand and camera in the other. Oh, there we go. All right, we got her. It's out. All right. I'm excited. <laughs> I can put me a nice radio in here. Now, here is the thing. On the side, you'll see how these screws operate. There's a little release mechanism right here that when you uh, screw it in, screw those screws out, it pushes this piece in. Same thing on this side. It makes it nice and smooth so it can slide in and out of those holes. And I'll show you what I mean. I'll stick my uh, Allen screw back in here real quick. And we'll pretend like the radio's in and, it's, and we're going to tighten it up. And watch that. You see it coming back out. I think you can see that there. That's what holds the radio in pretty much. And you can see you can it, it grabs whatever in the dash there. So. But I did get the radio out, and uh, on the back of this, uh, let's see, I don't know, it's supposed to be a five-digit code. I don't know how. That's got a bunch of zeros. I'll have to do some research. And I noticed the uh, buttons on the front of this old uh, radio does not have seven. It only has uh, one through six set numbers for your radio stations. And also, right under the seat, there is a CD player. I was really curious and anxious to see if it would work. There we go. And I know I can pop the uh, CDs out here. You can see the whole thing comes out if I can see to hit the button. Of course, I may have to uh, get down here. There we go. So the cartridge pops out and everything. So. But I was kind of... wanted to see if it worked but uh, I guess it may be pointless so I'm gonna take this radio out if I can find the code I might play around with it and try to get it to come on and see how the speakers uh, sound this has got speakers everywhere someone said the code might also be in the glove box on this on a sticker but I don't see a thing but the point of the video is this is how you take your radio out of a 97 Land Rover 96 97 and maybe 98 and then uh, when you put the radio back in just simply tighten these screws up and this will tighten this uh reset this latch right there so 
other than that maybe i'll uh i know i can go on ebay if you want to do this you can order plugs for these radios now and you can put an aftermarket in here they sell these plugs for only like six or eight dollars and they have um amp wires there's my two amp wire plug and here's the other one it must have come off when i put it up pulled it out there but there it is uh oh anyway so uh, a little update there i'm slowly getting it together and uh, hopefully I'll have a nice radio in eventually. But I did want to get the radio out. I just wanted to see if it worked at all. And that way I can kind of listen to some music or something when I'm in the uh, Land Rover working on it. So th thanks a lot for, watch for watching, everyone. And until my next video, I'll see you a little bit later on this beautiful day. Late August. Uh, late August. Well, today's middle of August. Uh, so pretty day out there. So I'll see you guys a little bit later. Later.